Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. I was driving into work this morning. They just constructed a bridge along the way. It added two more lanes of traffic over a creek. Everything about it looks new, except this morning. I noticed that the very shiny guardrail looked like it had been hit by a truck, seriously mangled. It occurred to me that the guardrail had done what it was supposed to do. It kept the hapless driver from plunging into the creek 20 feet below. I've heard people compare guardrails to the law. You can drive your car fast or slow, you can drive in this lane or that lane, but the guardrail is to keep you out of the creek. People on the other side of policy issues often criticize Christians. They say we want guardrails on both sides of every road, forcing everybody to drive down one narrow lane. Of course, we're pretty sure that would just lead to a boom in the guardrail replacement business. Our actual point of view is that Christianity leads people to want to drive safely, to drive with a destination, to keep the car on the road and off the sidewalk, and we care about the safety of the other drivers. In fact, if everybody drove according to Christian principles, we wouldn't need guardrails. But that's not the human condition. We need guardrails. And that's why Christians engage in public policy. Here at Citizen Link, we work to elect better lawmakers. We support good bills and we oppose bad bills. We want lawmakers who understand the purpose of well-designed guardrails, who see the problem if you move them halfway down the bank. That's not going to help you much. We also want lawmakers who understand that poorly thought out ideas like Obamacare and the efforts to redefine marriage have put government boulders in front of Christian drivers. It's simple, really. We need more Christian drivers, and we need guardrails.